New person comes in and Jonathan just came in and when he gets four customer points, any new person that comes in, a new associate, and they get four customer points, they get the $100. Then you go out and you bring in two business partners and that's the minimum that's required, two business partners. And when they get their four customer points, there's $100 for each one of those because you brought them in, they got their four customer points, and there's 100 for this one because they got four customer points, and there's 100 for that one. And if you would just go out and, oh, by the way, you also, for doing that, there's $500 promotion this month, okay? So there's $800. Mm -hmm. And again, we'll go over it. You brought in, you got in, you got your four customer points, you got 100. You brought in a business, two business partners, and when they got their four customer points, you got $100 each. And because of the promotion, through the end of the month, on October 31st at midnight, this promotion ends, there's an extra $500. And that's for new people coming in? New people okay. coming in. And so is the 500. Is the fi well, for anybody, it doesn't matter okay. if a new person's in or you've been in for- So any two people you bring in. That's for gotcha. everybody. And so you showing a new person how they can make $800. And if that new person goes out and just gets one more customer point, they promote to RD and now there's $1,100 that that new person just made. And all they did was got five customer points themselves. The first four got them their first paycheck. They go out and get two business partners. They get their $100 each for bringing them in. They get one, and then they get the $500 bonus because of the promotion. And they get one more themselves for a total of five. They get the RD bonus. Now, if you're an RD, you're gonna pick up the matching bonus as well. So here's the thing for a new person, for anybody that's in the business that is an RD already, um, they're gonna get the 500 for bringing two people in. And again, it doesn't matter how long you've been in the business, this $500 bonus is for anybody that's promotion. But if you're RD, you're gonna get that matching bonus and the 500. So there's $800 on the table for any RDs for just bringing two people in. And they'll do this for, they'll do a total of 1,000. The promotion is where you can do that again. So you brought two in, bring two more in, and when those two go and get their uh, four customer points each, then there's another th a 500 for a total of $1,000 in bonus money. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of money on the table. So what I want you all to do is get your list back out and I would tell you, get the chicken list out. Get the ones that you think, oh, they they make too much money. They've been <laughs> too successful. You know, they've already been very successful. They're already successful in whatever they do. Those are the people that, do, that will do this. Mm -hmm. The people that you think that are too successful or wouldn't do this kind of business are actually the ones that will. Because if they're successful, it took something for them to do, and it didn't happen for most people real easy. They had to work it. It took time. And if you always think about like uh, Warren Buffett or Richard Branson, you know, some of the richest people in the world, they still look at deals every day. Mm -hmm. Richard Branson will give you 15 minutes to do your spill. He'll let you come in his office and pitch him on a deal if it's a legitimate deal and give you 15 minutes. And if it's a, a deal that he can buy into, that he sees an opportunity, he's on it. And most of your uh, successful business people will do that. And the thing about it is, is once somebody's been successful, then they look on how to do things smarter, not harder. Mm -hmm. They realize that they have created success. They don't have to do something like they did to create the success that they already have. Now they're looking at things that can create even more success by working smarter, not harder. So your chicken list is actually the list that's gonna make you the most money. Those are the people that you're not gonna to have to convince. Unfortunately, and I hated it this way because we want it for people more than they want it for themselves in most yeah. cases. Mm -hmm. And those are the people that are slowing you down. You want it for them worse than they want it for themselves. Mm -hmm. And then you're finding yourself begging them or calling them and wasting time with them and it's a shame I hate to say it's wasting time but it is when you can go call somebody that when they see this opportunity they can get paid on life and essential services without having employees mm -hmm. without have to put hundreds and thousands of dollars out mm -hmm. and it's something that's in our budget it's gonna stay in our budget you know mm -hmm. that's where you're gonna explode your business and that's what I started doing once I got successful with the business 
I'll show it to everybody and I'll talk to everybody, but I'll make it very quick. When I sit down with somebody, I know <laughs> if they're going to be worth getting in the business or if it's worth my time to try to get them in the business. And it don't t it doesn't take me very long to realize if I have somebody that just they don't see it, then I'm up, I'm I'm gone. I'm gonna go show it to business minded people, people that see it, that want to run with it, and people that have a spirit of influence. People that can pick up the phone and call and get twenty people in a room immediately. And that's what we gotta get back to. Uh, get back to, you know, you all every one of you here know successful people. Every one of you been around a lot of people that have pitched you on something or you've been involved in something that if they had this, you know that they could kill it. You gotta call them. And when they're, um, and Jonathan has a, a friend, uh, a, a paternity brother, right? Yeah. That he went to OU with and mm -hmm. he called me and I knew he was gonna pitch me. I mean, I just knew you, after a while, you know, and he's got into business. He's says he's made over seven million dollars in the industry and I believe him and um, but as soon as we sit down I said hey I, I know you got something to share with me I said it's I mean so it's okay but I'm, I'm gonna show you this business and he said well I've been kind of looking around at different things and everything and he had already landed on something but you know it's just the way that you approach it mm -hmm. and after I showed this to him Jonathan would tell you he they talked and then he didn't realize that Jonathan knew me and he was blown away with this comp plan. Blown away. And so, um, you guys know people that would kill this business. Pit me in front of them. Let me help you. I go to Kansas City, or I 